Oh, God. We're doing the discriminant, which is basically part of the quadratic formula. It's, it's the part under the square root. I'm going to go ahead and explain something very quickly and see how it goes. And uh, I'll tell you a story about this. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you're going to have two real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you're going to have one real solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, we're going to have zero real solutions. I'm going to go ahead and do some examples on the next lesson really quickly. But I don't want to erase because I can't really fit everything in that I want to. If you have two real solutions, your graph's going to look something like this. It's going to hit the x-axis twice. If you have one real solution, your graph's going to look something like this. It's going to hit the x-axis once. And if you have uh, no real solutions, it's not going to hit the x-axis. And it kind of reminds me of a story. I remember uh, I wasn't having a good day, but it wasn't, it's not, it's not really normal, but I wasn't having a good day, and I was going over the discriminant, and I remember uh, every year I talked about the discriminant, I'd always have a student that, you know, as I'm explaining this kind of in a nonchalant way, says, does the discriminant discriminate, and all that stuff, and they try telling jokes, and I'm just sitting there thinking, oh gosh, when you hear the same joke year after year after year, it gets a little, you know, uh, annoying. And I, was, and I was prefacing it to my students as I was teaching this one year. I said, okay, this is called the discriminant. And I showed them this first before I did examples. And no, don't make any bad jokes. The discriminant doesn't discriminate. You know, it's not going to treat people or numbers or expressions badly. So I don't want to hear that joke. Let's just keep going. And I had a student actually brighten my day, too, with it for some reason. Uh, trying to be funny. But actually, I did find it funny because it made me, it made me laugh. And I just kind of went through my lesson, and I felt a lot better about it. And he looked at me, and he says, you know, Mr. Shadi, I got a question. I'm like, yes, what, what, what is your question? And he says, oh, does the discriminant discriminate and all that other stuff? And, uh, you know, it made me warm up because I was telling him, don't tell jokes like this. And I knew exactly where they were going when they said that. So it was quite funny. And, of course, uh, every time I teach the discriminant now, I think about that one particular year where, where I taught uh, that particular lesson. And I always kind of have a smile on my face when I teach it because that's always in the back of my mind. So, you know, sometimes even a student can brighten up your mood when you're teaching math. So you got to remember that too, you know. It's not always the most exciting stuff in the world, but, you know, you always try your best. Uh, with that said, I'm going to try some examples in the next lesson, but just wanted you to have a quick gander before we do that, so. <laughs> ah, with that said, have a good day for now. Goodbye.